garage, guys. I moved my mom's car right now, and I didn't know it was behind mine. So we are in my mom's car. I don't know why I'm putting my seatbelt on, because I literally just have to put it on the other side so I can move. It's too early for this. I thought my dad's car was behind my mom's car. I haven't driven this car in so long. Um, I get so scared. But anyways, parked on this side. All right, let's go. So I just finished my workout and I feel so good right now. I just did 20 minutes on the treadmill and then I did a little bit of RDL. I didn't really do as much, but I feel like I did so much. I don't really do treadmill because I just, it's not really my goal. Like I don't really like doing treadmill and it's not really like the journey I'm taking in the gym like right now. So I, I don't know. I just tried something different and I love going to the gym and I haven't gone in so long because I have like my own equipment in the garage. So I usually just work out in the garage whenever I can. But today I was like, I need to go wake up and I need to go to the gym early and do the treadmill do whatever i can at the gym just to change it up because i feel like nowadays like every day is like the same thing so sometimes changing it up is okay and you know, my life has been repetitive like i literally just wake up and i work out in the garage and i just felt like i needed to change things up or minicize life a little bit like go to the gym and feel like i'm actually being productive like getting out of the house which is like the same thing as like working out at home but i don't know i don't know if you guys get what i'm saying but this morning was so hard to get up but i just want to give you guys advice because this is something that helped me a lot Long time ago when I was in school so if you're in school and you have to wake up at like 6 a 6 a.m or 7 a.m then you should definitely do the 5 4 3 2 1 method which is basically where you set your alarm only one alarm because I'm gonna explain that for in a second you set one alarm and you stick to that alarm so right when you hear that alarm go off you say 5 4 3 2 1 and you actually get up your mind just like is only thinking about that because you just woke up and sometimes you just feel so comfy but when you have that like mindset and it starts to get like into your brain when you wake up and like say 5 4 3 2 1 and get out of bed you literally can do like you can do it and it's not that hard anymore you don't really think about going back to bed you might think about it a little bit in the beginning and maybe like throughout here and there but after doing it a while like you literally feel like you can get up right when you say five four three two one and you actually do also setting one alarm is so key because i specifically i still do this here and then but i heard this um video of a girl saying that when you set a lot of alarms you're basically setting alarms before that so you can get ready to wake up but like you don't don't actually wake up you actually go back to bed and then you stick to one alarm out of all those alarms that you selected and you stick to that alarm to wake up and then sometimes you don't even wake up at that time because you're just so tired because your brain is on this like four hour sleep type of cycle so if you go back to bed right after you finish sleeping your brain's gonna be like okay we're gonna go back to sleep and you actually do go back to sleep for four hours then you can't actually you can't even get up to the hour that you stick to waking up so let's say you set an alarm for 5 50 5 40 a.m but you actually actually have to get up at 6 a.m. So if you go to sleep when that 5:40 alarm goes off or 5 a.m. too, your mind is just going to go back to sleep and then you won't be able to get up as easily for 6 a.m. So everybody's different, but for me, I feel like that advice stuck to me. I listened to this like motivation. I don't know where I heard it from, but it was a long time ago and I've never forgotten about that. But I still set a bunch of alarms here and there sometimes, but today we did not do that. We actually stuck to one alarm clock and we actually got up because I'm here right now and it's currently 8:00 44 a.m. But yeah, I'm really hungry, so we're gonna go make something to eat. now at the nail salon and this is what my nails look like right now i decided to go last minute to the nail salon like scheduled an appointment last night and i took a break from curlix just because my nails were getting just really bad and then she went out of country for like two months so i was like i'm taking a break there's no way i'm going so i did that and now we're gonna go back to acrylics i just gonna feel like a girl now i felt like a boy for like two months or so after my birthday i just didn't get them done anymore but i'm excited to get them done i'm also really late i'm supposed to be there at 12 30 it's 12 36 but i'm already here i literally like got a little bit but we're gonna go now <laughs> 
got the nails done and got the toes done. I'm not gonna show you guys my toes because it's a little weird, but I'm so happy with how they turned out. I was stuck on between like light blue, light yellow, light purple, like the pastel colors, but then I was like, you know what? I'm gonna change things up and I'm gonna do neutral because I was about to do pink and I always do pink. So I finally did a different color and it's very neutral, very natural, and I'm obsessed. I know it's like a little different. She did like more claw type because I did a longer type, but I asked for almond, so yeah. They're gonna take a little long getting used to because I'm always used to like short nails. I mean, it's been two months, but like still, it was hard for me to type. But yeah, I'm so happy. <laughs> back from Target and I'm gonna give you guys a little haul. I just got like food and like stuff that I needed. So first things first, I got this peanut butter cluster that has 10 grams of protein. It's just granola. Got blueberries, immune detox shot, gum, yogurt, frozen fruits because I love making smoothies and I got the Colada Tropical Blend that has like mango chunks, pineapple chunks, and coconut. So it just honestly sounds so good because I love like pina coladas and I feel like that's what it's gonna taste like. I also got a mix of strawberries and bananas. Protein bars. These are personally my my favorites they're so good and they have 10 grams of protein and then i got two eye masks because we love doing eye masks and i needed a restock this one's my personal favorite from target so if you go to target and you see this get it it's my favorite and i haven't tried this one yet and we're gonna try it together it's the vegan ceramita hydration fill it's currently 7 p.m this is like the first day out of like all the days of the week in the past two weeks of me going out more because i literally like to be honest with you guys i stay in bed like for so so long but i finally got out and i feel like so proud of myself and i feel so good inside too I I don't know why but i feel like me just going out whether it be like getting groceries or getting my nails done or getting my eyelashes in just makes me feel so good like listening to music like driving my little car outside just the best feeling and just spending time alone but anyways i feel like this whole day i've just like sucked at vlogging but literally for half the day i was just laying in bed and then i was deciding whether or not if i should go out and get groceries so i decided to just go out and get groceries because why not i just really like going out and getting my nails done so i just went and got groceries that's what was going through my mind Look at how cute this flower is that Caleb gave me, which is my boyfriend, if you guys didn't know. He sent me these flowers, and we do long distance, and it was like National Flower Day yesterday. It was like the 21st, I think. Yeah, it was the 21st, and he sent me these flowers. He was like, wake up at 8 a.m., and I was like, for what? And he was like, no questions asked, and then he just woke me up at 8 a.m. because I didn't really wake up at 8 a.m. I was planning to wake up later than that, and so he woke me up, called me, told me to go downstairs, and I went downstairs, and I got flowers sent to me at my door. So beautiful. because right now I'm currently on my period and I just feel very stressed for some reason. I don't know, maybe just like hormonal type of thing going on in there. <coughs> I feel like I just need to spend some time with my own body, with my own soul, you know. Whenever I do yoga or any type of like meditation or anything like that, I just tend to fall asleep a lot faster when I am on my period because when I'm on my period, I feel like I can't fall asleep as fast as I do when I'm not on my period. Don't get me wrong, when I'm not on my period, I still can't fall asleep for some reason. It just doesn't sit right with me as to why. But anyways, not the point. Um, I'm going to do some yoga and then I'm going to show you guys some of my favorite period slash skin products that I've been taking like pills and stuff like that but first let's do some yoga oh yeah i also got out of the shower and i'm wearing this hoodie from Brandy melville and then shorts which are really cute are from princess polly the bra is from calvin klein look at how cute this yoga mat is like i just recently bought this and i was using my mom's yoga mat which was like the hot pink one but i gave it back because it's not mine and i just decided to like buy my own aloe yoga mat that i've been wanting for so long so i just treated myself with it i've seen it all over pinterest and it's just so cute it's like a light pink color and i love 
love love love the quality of it it's very thick very heavy though i wasn't expecting it to be heavy but i mean i feel like it's just like the good type of quality would definitely recommend so i'm gonna be doing the 20 minute gentle yoga for scoliosis stretch i'll have her youtube down below with the video i would definitely recommend this i've done it like multiple times and it's just so good i have scoliosis but it's not like crazy it's not like as as bad but i've talked about this before on my channel i usually do like yogas and then some like gentle like not too crazy back exercises for my back to like fix my scoliosis meant for that definitely recommend doing like some yoga if you struggle with like scoliosis or whether your back is just very feeling stiff or anything like that just stretching it out is just always good especially if you're laying in bed for too long you definitely want to focus on taking care of your back because as you get older you grow and it gets bad back there and i'm genuinely scared about myself because my back is just it hurts so so badly and i don't know what to do but i guess yoga just makes me feel so much better about my back i just i, I swear it makes it feel better and it's probably helping it as well so yeah we're gonna do this tonight skincare while I get ready to go to sleep. And I'm going to show you guys some of my favorite products for clear skin, PMSing, you know, period stuff, like just advice on everything because I know a lot of people out there, like girls, struggle with cramps on their period and for me, I struggle with it so badly to the point where I throw up. So I just want to give the best advice as I can for those that struggle with it too. You're not alone if you struggle with it. It's literally the worst like every month. Throwing up constantly is just not good at all when you're on your period. So I'm going to show some products that help me, but but just know that everybody's body is different and some of these products may not help like I'm gonna share some of them and they sometimes don't help me because that's how bad my period cramps are but mostly they do help when they're not like as bad like they do help sometimes so that's why I'm sharing them I feel like a lot of girls don't really talk about period online I don't know like YouTube like I've tried to get advice on period cramps or any of that like searching it up on YouTube and there's not a lot of videos where people like transparent about it or just like give advice advice like i mostly find all that stuff on tiktok so i just want to help girls out there that are struggling with it first off this you're gonna want this this is a heating pad this comes in handy when you're laying in bed you just rest it on your stomach and then there's levels to heat it up i heat it up all the way to six because my cramps are really bad so i'll have this one linked down below i used to have this other one but this one's like my favorite and i definitely definitely recommend it next thing are these pms gummy vitamins they're really really good for cramps bloating mood swings and hormonal acne so you take Take two every single day and it's just like little gummies that just looks like this and look how cute the packaging is i just recently got this so i don't really know what to talk about here like i don't know if it's good or not but i've seen so many good reviews on tiktok so that's why i recently decided to get this but i'll keep you guys updated on my videos like what i think about it and if it's like actually good and like worth it to buy because it's very pricey for what it is but these supplements are just really good because they have vitamin b6 and they are vegan gummies i do struggle a lot with sleeping so I definitely recommend this deep sleep pillow spray that has lavender in it So that's why it makes you fall asleep faster You just spray it on your bed before you go to sleep So so good and I struggle with falling asleep when I am on my period for some reason Like it's just way harder than when i'm not on my period But either way it's hard for me to fall asleep And then one of my favorite candles from amazon is this wild rose and it's so cute Like it's just like a pink little candle and I used all of it But basically my boyfriend got it from me for valentine's day and it's been my favorite candle I'm literally gonna reorder it but it's just so calming and i love turning this candle on when i was on my period because it just made it everything cozy with my heating pad taking my supplements and everything it was just really good so 10 out of 10 recommend i literally have like a little bit left i'm gonna use it tonight because i'm still on my period and last thing i would definitely recommend are the clear skin probiotic supplements they're really really good they're from love wellness so if you struggle with just like skin texture this is definitely for you i've been taking this for about a month now and i didn't expect for it to actually work well on my skin because my texture on like on my skin is just so bad it's just so soft right now i don't know what it is like i don't know if it's because i'm taking like other stuff on my skin and other skincare products for my skin but this i would definitely recommend i saw this also on tiktok but yeah anyways that's basically all i really have to share but usually when i'm on my period i literally just stay in bed so if you are on your period and you just feel bad about staying in bed all day it's totally okay like there are gonna be days where you want to stay in bed and you just want to sleep 
been like it's okay like your body is literally much more weaker when you're on your period because for me like i especially can tell when i'm working out and i'm just picking up lighter weights than usual like the usual weight that i usually do is way difficult to lift and that's when i know that my period's either coming or i'm on my period like i have to slow down and listen to my body and rest because that's just so important when you're on your period but it's also good to exercise when you're on your period so either way it's good but definitely go easy on yourself don't go too hard definitely have some movement don't like always stay in bed but like it's good to like go on a walk or something when you're feeling feeling a little bit better also drinking a lot of water because the skin acts up when you're on your period and drinking water definitely helps so yeah that's pretty much all the advice i could give you let me know if you guys want like a period day in my life i've never done one of those and i feel like it's so weird because no other youtuber does it i've looked at other youtubers that like do it and it's just videos from like years ago so let me know if you guys want that because i will definitely make sure to do that and help other girls out there you guys that are struggling with headaches periods like what do you do when you wake up and you just feel like complete crap because i would definitely want to help you guys i've used to watch those type of videos like there was this one youtuber that i literally watched and I just stuck to her and took all of her advice with like the heating pads that's where i got it from that was like years ago like five years ago or something like that so i definitely would love to film one of those videos for you guys definitely because i struggle with cramps and just being on my period overall like everything just goes downhill when i'm on my period which is totally normal but i would just love to help you guys out to bed now i am gonna drink my smoothie but i'm gonna watch some tiktok while i drink my smoothie this is literally what i do every night like i just watch tiktok while i either eat or i'm trying to fall asleep or something like that that's definitely a habit i want to like cut down i just want to let you guys know that if you haven't started your 2023 goals or like resolutions whatever it is kind of just like a restart then this is your sign to do it. it's not too late like it's end of march but it's literally been three months since 2023 started and i definitely recommend just starting it now it's never too late to start your goals or your 2023 goals or your new year resolutions anyways it's 10 58 on a wednesday and i feel very productive like i feel like i did a lot today because i usually don't do as much so this is your sign to do the things that you've been wanting to do whether it's just like taking care of yourself or treating yourself with anything going out getting your nails on whatever it is i definitely recommend because sometimes you just do need a break from everything like school if you're in school or work like definitely recommend it and for me recently i've just been putting off like filming or just picking up the camera because i haven't been feeling myself i haven't been getting my nails done i haven't been getting out of the bed i just been laying in bed haven't been getting out of the house so it's kind of like just feeling stuck and i just needed today to like get out of the house and do things that are different and start romanticizing life and it's just literally the beginning like after the end of my period i just feel like i can do so much and be productive and get things done like run errands get my nails done, whatever it is you guys get the point anyways i'm gonna get ready for bed i'm just gonna take off my contacts and brush my teeth and scroll on tiktok and i'm gonna end this vlog here and i hope you guys enjoyed and i will see you guys in my next video bye guys mm, wait wait Mwah.